Hey there guys, in this video we're going to take a look at lesson 5 in unit 4 at finding the quotient of a monomial and a polynomial. So I'm going to be doing those application or those practice problems with you. Um, the ones that you'll get in yours are going to be diff like the numbers and stuff are going to be different, but it's going to have you doing the same exact skills that we're doing. So looking at the review slide, there's two different ways that you can think about dividing a monomial and a poly polynomial. Just kind of like there's two different ways to think about just dividing in general. So if you think of it as something like six divided by three, you could think about it as, well, three times what will give me six? So you can think about it that way. And that's the same thing they did here for this first one. So they've got you doing 2n cubed plus 6n squared plus 4n divided by 2n. So you can think about it as what times 2n will give me what's on the top of that fraction. And if you click it, you can see. Or, and this is the way that I always end up thinking about it, you can just think about each of those things as one individual little fraction with the plus or minus, depending on whatever the problem gives you, the plus or minus splitting up that problem into three separate or different fractions like they show you here and then just simplifying each of those fractions individually. So thinking about like two divided by two will give you a one. And then here you're going to have to use those exponent rules that we've been talking about all, all through unit four. We've got n to the third divided by n. Remember n has an exponent of one. So this is really n to the three minus one or just n squared, and so it could be simplified just as n squared, and you would need to do that for each of those fractions. So you can see where they come up with their answer there. Okay, so if we start trying out some of those together, looking at the first one they give us, they want us to find the quotient. So when you get good at these, um, you won't have to write out quite as much, but whenever you first start these, um, I would suggest writing these out. And this is just like how we did, had you solve these problems in class. We wanted you to separate them out. So we've got negative 24 a cubed b divided by 2 a b. And I'm using the sign in between. So that's this term divided by that term. I'm going to use the sign that they have between and put it between here. And then I'm going to do 78AB divided by 2AB. And I'm going to simplify just like we've been simplifying with our exponent rules. So if I'm looking, I've got a negative 24. I'm going to do them piece by piece. I'm not going to try and do them all at once. I've got a negative divided by a positive, which will give me a negative. 24 divided by 2. And if you're not sure with these, just go ahead and take a couple extra seconds to type it into your calculator. 24 divided by 2 is going to be 12. And then here I have a to the third divided by a, which is a, a to the first. So 3 minus 1, which is going to give me a squared. And then b to the first divided by b to the first, which is 1 minus 1, which is b to the 0. And don't forget that anything to the zeroth power is just going to be one. So I could write a times one here, but um, I don't need to because one times anything is just going to be itself. So I'm going to leave it like this. And then looking at that second part, we've got 78 divided by two. So 78 divided by two is going to give us 39. A divided by A is going to be 1, so this is times 1, which is still 39. B divided by B is 1, which is, so I've got 39 times 1 times 1, which is just 39. And whatever sign is here is going to be the sign that you bring down here. So this is going to be a negative 12A squared plus 39. So if I'm looking at entering that answer, I've got a negative 12A I'm going to use a little squared there. Squared. And then click out, so I'm out. Plus 39. 
And there we go. That's the right answer. All right, so if we go ahead and take a look at the next problem. Looking at this next problem, it's kind of like the last problem. They just gave us more terms to work with. So I'm going to split them up. So I'm going to do negative 16 s to the fourth t to the third divided by negative 4 st. And then looking at the term that I have right there, it's minus. So I'm going to put a minus here. And this is going to be a 44 s cubed t to the fourth divided by negative 4 st. And then looking at the last term, we've got a negative 64 st divided by, and I put the minus out right here, a negative 4 st here. So once I get it all written out, then I'm going to go through and I'm going to solve it piece by piece. A negative 16 divided by a negative 4 is going to be a positive 4. s to the 4th divided by s is going to be s cubed. t cubed divided by t is going to be t squared. Then looking at the second term, divide there, I've got a negative 44 divided by a negative 4 is going to give us a positive 11. s to the third divided by s is going to give us s squared. t to the fourth divided by t is going to be t to the third. So that takes care of that term. Looking at the last term, I have negative 64 divided by a negative 4 is going to give us a positive 16. s divided by s is just 1. t divided by t is going to be 1. So I've got a positive 16 times 1 times 1 or just a positive 16. So looking at that one, that is our answer right there. Okay, taking a look at the next one. Go ahead and give this one a try on our own. Pause the video, give this one a try on your own and see if you can get the same answer that I get. Okay, so taking a look, I've already went ahead and set up the first step that I would do where I would set them all apart. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through those. So I've got 27 divided by a negative 3 is going to give us a negative 9. x cubed divided by x is going to be x squared. y to the fourth divided by y is going to be y to the third. So that's going to be our first term. Looking at the second term that we have, we are going to have a negative 6 divided by a negative 3 is going to give us a positive 2 x to the fourth divided by x is going to give us x to the third. y to the third divided by y is going to give us y squared. Looking at that last term, we're going to have negative 36 divided by a negative 3, and that's going to give us a positive 12. x divided by x is 1, y divided by y is 1, and then 12 times 1 times 1 is just going to give us a 12. So there's our answer for that one. So check and see how you did. If it doesn't match up, find the parts that don't match and see what I did and see if you can fix it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at and the next one. Okay, so taking a look at this next one, um, all that's really different is instead of having two of each variable in a problem, you're only gonna, these only have one. Um, the process that we use to solve them is still gonna be the same. You're still gonna take each of these terms and you're going to divide them up since there's three terms in that numerator at the top of the fraction that you're going to have those three terms uh, being divided whenever you set up your division. So, and you just go through and divide with the same exact steps. So if we're working with solving here, I've got 80 divided by 2 is 40. y to the 4th divided by y is y to the 3rd. This says minus here, and this is a positive, so I'm just going to have a minus there. 32 divided by 2 is going to give us 16. y squared, 10 divided by 2, we've got a minus there, so minus 5. y divided by y is 1, so this is 5 times 1, or just negative 5. And there's our answer for that one. Okay, so another t problem type that they could do is they could give you um, a polynomial that has four terms on the top, and I've under, underlined each of them, the one, two, three, four, and then the one uh, term on the bottom, and you have to divide by those. Process is still the same. You're going to take each of those terms that are separated by that plus or minus sign, 
and you're going to divide them by the term that's on the bottom. So same exact process that we're doing before. So if we're looking, I've got negative 72 divided by 3 is going to give us negative 24. S to the 6 divided by S squared is going to be S to the 4th. And then we've got T to the 4th divided by T is going to be T cubed. Looking at the next term, we are going to have a minus 78 divided by 3 is going to give us 26. S to the 5 divided by 2 or 5 minus 3 is, sorry, 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3t to the t to the third divided by t to the first. This is going to give us t squared. Looking at the next term, we're going to have 15 divided by 3. It's going to be a plus because there's a plus sign there. 15 divided by 3 is 5. s to the fourth divided by s squared is going to be s squared. t squared divided by t is going to the first is going to be t because 2 minus 1 is 1. And then looking at that last term, we've got 9 divided by 3 is 3. It's going to be a plus because we have a plus sign here and there wasn't any negatives for us to work with there. S squared divided by S is going to be 1. And then T divided by T is going to be 1. So 3 times 1 times 1 is just 3. So that is going to be our answer for that one. Um, if you're looking to check your answers, you can always take this answer that you've got right here and then take your 3s squared, s squared times t that we divided out, multiply, making sure to distribute to everything on the inside. And then if you get the same exact thing, sorry, if you get the same thing, the same thing that you did for the answer up here after you multiply those all out, you are going to end up getting the right answer. Okay, so that's all the different types of um, finding the quotients that you could have for your monomials and polynomials. Um, I'm going to go check and see what my sister wanted. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, uh, Ms. Schaefer and I have live office hours every day. Check our schedules on the spreadsheet, the class spreadsheet, and there are links available there to get there or send us an email. If you need help with these, we're more than happy to help you. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.